Welcome back. I'm Erica Fernandez, and I'm joined here today by Dr. Maxwell from ARMC. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, Erica, thank you for having me. Of course. Um, and so today, Dr. Maxwell's going to tell us a little bit about why it's so important to get your flu vaccine, right? Yes, Erica. Influenza is a major public health problem. Between 12 and 30,000 people die every year because of influenza here in the United States. Influenza is not the GI thing that we talk about a lot, the nausea, maybe a little bit of vomiting, diarrhea. That's viral gastroenteritis. Influenza is a pneumonia. Influenza is an infection from the influenza virus that infects your lungs and your airway. It starts often just like any cold, fever, sore throat, and then you end up with a, a pneumonia that involves, the, you know, you end up with an infection that involves the lungs. You end up with high spiking fevers, trouble breathing. It can get so bad that you require uh, emergency care and you can even end up on life support from, from uh, influenza. So influenza is, is a disease of the lungs that's very, very common. It spreads very easily and the virus changes every year. And that's why we need a different flu shot every single year. And so what are some symptoms that people can look out for to just in case they think they might be getting the flu? Again, it starts as a cold, uh, sore throat, a little bit of a fever, but then it rapidly progresses to high spiking fevers, a non-productive cough, shortness of breath, weakness, sweats, Okay, and so another reason why we're here today is because you actually are going to receive your flu shot on air today, right? Absolutely. You need to get a flu shot every year, as I said, because the flu virus changes. The virus that's circulating now is not the virus that was circulating last year or the year before. Okay. Every year the virus changes, so every year we need to get a different flu shot. All right, so are you ready? Absolutely. All right, let's see this. This year's flu shot uh, involves Poke. four different uh, versions of the flu virus. These were selected in February of this year based on what was believed to be circulating. The vaccine that we are administering this year appears to be well matched to the viruses that are circulating in the environment now. So Dr. Maxwell, we've been talking about getting a flu shot in time for flu season, but when exactly is flu season? Flu season is generally felt to run from about October through generally the end of March. The sooner you get your flu shot during flu season, the better, because it takes up to two weeks to really develop the full response to the flu shot. It's best to get it early. It will last the entire season. There's nothing to worry about with that. So I recommend that everybody get their flu shot as soon as possible. The CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, strongly recommends that every person get a flu shot, every person over the age of six months get a flu shot unless they have a specific allergy to the flu, to the flu shot itself or an egg allergy. And if you have an egg allergy, we do have flu shots that do not contain egg proteins. Okay, and so where can they uh, get their flu shot? Is it only available at the hospital? The hospital is running a clinic in the, the, uh, the main waiting room for the next two weeks. Anybody can come in and get their flu shot there. Many of your primary physicians will also be offering flu shots. And uh, the pharmacies in town, I think just about every pharmacy has a, flu, has a flu shot clinic available as well. It's not where you get it, it's that you get it. All right, well, perfect. Well, thank you so much for being here. So get out there and get your flu shot. There's many opportunities for the community to get, get out and get your flu shot. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Stay tuned because Sports is Next with John Scheidler.